agreement that you wouldn't be funny. What was it? Can you tell me more? That uh, Tobias was just telling me that you two had a chat about, you know, the, the comedy, etc. Yeah. What did you say? I think it's because he's experienced with Borgen, which he was a co-writer on. And if you've seen Borgen and seen the character I played, Torben Fries, I have this thing about every time he always needs the, this, the, the, I mean, the last line in the scene and then say, well, a little bit, you know, like a joke. And uh, of course, it's working in Borgen, but Tobias was very serious. He said, you cannot be funny in this movie. You have to get rid of it. And I was kind of, oh, come on, shut the fuck up. But he actually meant it. And it was so provoking, and I think it was a very good, uh, I mean, I just took it like, okay, if, you really, if he really believes in me, not being funny, I'm going to show him. <laughs> so, I mean, and he actually sometimes he stopped shooting because, he said, ah, cut, no, I can see it in your eyes now. You're trying to tell a joke. You're not allowed to do, okay, sorry, sorry. But, but he's a director that you want to give 100% to. You know, he, he writes the scripts, he directs it, he knows what he wants, he's a storyteller. But, but because he's the writer, he can, you know, he can let the, the, the script go. He just wants the, the bits and pieces of the story. And, and that's why when you work with Tobias, you want to go where, you want to go to places you haven't been before as an actor. And that's, in my mind, that's a, that's a, that's a talent. That's a huge talent. I think as one, I mean, upfront kind of crazy thing about the movie, that is that uh, Hilu and I, we don't even have a scene together. And the first part of the movie, well, they took the whole crew to Africa, to Kenya, they shot all the things on board the vessel. And then they went back to Copenhagen and we shot my story in Copenhagen. And uh, of course I read the whole script and I could easily see some, you know, dailies from down there to just to have an idea about what's going on. But I said, no, thank you. I wanted it to be like one-to-one. -one. I mean, like in the whole thing is about a telephone call from Africa to Denmark and the other way around. So I wanted it to be as, as real as possible. Uh, so, I mean, the phone, when we talk in the phone in the movie, I mean, there's, there's, an, there's an echo, it's a satellite kind of, and you can't even hear what? What? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. That's not something we're doing. It was like that, yeah, right? Real sound. And it was totally annoying sometimes. I mean, like, to be as, please, could we just, the sound, I can't hear them. Please, just do it. It's good. <laughs> we, have a, we have a scene in, 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 in the movie where I have to, I get the opportunity to call my family for the first time. And, and Omar says, call them. And I call my wife and she talks about our daughter and all the beautiful things in life. And then it was supposed to be a rehearse, just to, you know, know our marks and stuff like that. But Tobias, I don't know how he saw it, but he just felt that, okay, start shooting. We, we're going we're gonna to go with this take. And then when Omar did the thing where he hangs up the phone, in the script it says that, I just go back, I rise, and I get out. But it was, I felt so humiliated. I felt like I was, I was raped or something, you know? So I tried to hit him. I really, I tried to punch him. And that's why it, it, it looks so nasty, you know? When you stage a fight, it has to look beautiful. But when you see a fight for real, you, you, wanna, you wanna cry or you wanna throw up. And that's, I just saw it again today and I've, I've felt the the exact same feeling I had then, I felt today when I saw it, it was just like, and I'm so sad I didn't hit Omar. I still want to punch him. Poor man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so that was real, that's, that's incredible.